Well, hey, morning, everybody. Glad you could be back to hang out with me a little bit. So, truth be told, I really should have posted this video last week, but I found myself having some uh, analysis paralysis, mostly regarding the audio. Initially, when I approached this with a pencil, my hope was to get some good uh, kind of ASMR sounds of the pencil interacting with the paper and really try and uh, play up that audio, at which point I wasn't really going to do any talking. But I do remember that night, my, uh, my cat would not shut up <laughs> for like the longest time. He just felt like singing that night. And uh, Center City here was also being uh, particularly loud. So I definitely lost the chance to use any original audio. Which isn't like too big of a problem because this drawing ended up taking so much longer than I expected anyway. Because uh, as I progress here making my decisions with pencil and then moving into full textures and shading with pencil, I thought that's how uh, the piece would be finished and completed. Oh, that's me giving some cat treats to Takoon to see if he'll quiet down, which didn't really work. <laughs> but, um, yeah, essentially I didn't feel very good about where the pencil uh, sketch ended up, so I tried to kind of save it by inking it and making it much more uh, high contrast. A lot more bold outlines, that kind of thing. Certainly I've been enjoying grayscale uh, a lot lately, even though there's a bit of a, an unexpected introduction of color at the end of this sketch. Also trying out a, a new microphone that a friend lent to me. Thank you, friend. <laughs> probably should have been using this mic uh, earlier. I had experimented with it on Twitch, but hadn't thought to incorporate it into my YouTube practice. So hopefully after this is done, I can check it back and it'll sound okay. Well, here we go. So I used a paper towel and just kind of tried to neutralize the entire pencil drawing, and then started making some new decisions. Clearly uh, closed that door on this kind of... Uh... In fact, I hadn't even really talked yet about what we're drawing. Uh, I'm certainly guilty of drawing characters and people a lot, and maybe not focusing on other things enough. So this becomes uh, a cool kind of study where there's no people, but it's not really a background either. You really have to think of these sorts of sketches where like things are a stand-in for the person. In this case, like this simplistic house form kind of is meant to be like the character who's under a uh, some sort of like metaphorical meaning. In this case, it's sort of just a uh, a surrealistic confusion of gravity and physics in the sense that the house is on this kind of substrate of, on its own piece of paper and it seems like it wants to float away <clears throat> but it's held down by that rope and yet the entire construct itself is sort of floating on this uh, isolated island but he does have his little sailboat sailboat, a little shout out to my buddy Dennis, the master of <laughs> drawing little sailboats I'm sure at some point he'll tease that I uh, ripped that from him. Now we're getting a little bit closer to the end. Kind of excited about uh, sort of changing up the camera angles a little bit. Even though straight down is awfully nice, this seems to look pretty dynamic. I kind of intentionally left it in upside down just because the shot looked better that way and then it gives you a sense of um, reveal as we reach the final, the final moment. 
not sure I have a great explanation for why the uh, space there became orange. It certainly was just an instinct that came to me quite strongly. It may have not had much more to do with anything than really wanting a strong punch of contrast between these almost like three different things, like the house, what the house is interacting with, and the rest of that world. It just seemed to break up the space on a on a graphic level that worked for me. And in terms of orange itself, I don't know. Certainly like orange and black, right? It's a very at least here in the United States, it's just straightforward, like, Halloween aesthetic. You know, red and green is Christmas. There's, like, certain binaries that you just have to accept. For some reason, that vibe of the, uh, the orange and black certainly felt right here. So I think that's about it. The final shot should be coming up in a brief second, so I'll sign off. Thanks so much for checking in, guys. If you have a chance, uh, check out all my other videos keeps me excited to uh, keep uploading and be part of the community. So have a great day, guys.